Welcome back to another video here in the channel. Anaheim Ducks franchise right here. So, we are in year number three. Year number three, continuing the same here. We're in very good position. Once again, uh, it looks like so far we're able to sustain that good start right off the bat. So, what we're going to do here, we're going to sim till the trade deadline and then do the trade deadline and then sim for the rest of the season. I'm not going to go through a lot of things. Uh, I have no clue why the hell, why in the world Lindholm is in this, uh, is in the trade block. Zero clue. Uh, I've, I just hate, I just hate when a game does things for you. Especially things you don't want. So it's like, it's it's very annoying. So, Josh Mahura got hurt. Uh, Ghoulie, you're going to get your chance right here. So you haven't played a game yet. You're going to be a minus three. That's going to make minus three right here. So we can... Ah, Ghoulie's a horrible fit. You know, it's it's not going to be for long. So I'm going to just decide to do this. But it might just end up bad for that second pair. Because it is just stupid. So here we are here. Uh, that's 2024 draft right here. Uh, again, I just hate you have two creative players probably going three creative players probably going in the, in the top five. It, it it's annoying. Like it takes it it's just so easy for creative for auto generated players to you know to have their their thing revealed, but not for but really nothing for uh our, the created guys that actually decided to have in. Come on, uh, Josh Mirra, he's now an eighty two, so that's good. He's now an eighty two. He's uh he has grown. Uh, Jacob Perot got injured. Shit. All right. So that's another injury we have to deal with. Uh, we need to bring up somebody. Somebody needs to be brought up. Uh, yeah. Somebody's going to need to be brought up. Who will it be? Uh, it's probably going to have to be Rochette here. He's not waiver eligible, so he's probably he's good. Uh, he's an undrafted guy. He's an undrafted guy who was, uh, who was brought in here. Right, brought in. So, uh, he, he's going to get his first chance. His, his first chance in the uh, in the NHL right here. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put him in the second line. Uh, he's probably substituting on lines, yes. He fits good in that, uh, in, in that second line. Number 12, all right. So, he works. He works there. Uh... Okay, here we go now. Here we freaking go. So we're good. Uh, Noel is back in the lineup. Uh, I mean, I have to see how Gru did. I have to see how he did. Uh, Rochelle, what did he do? He already had a goal. <laughs> he already had his first NHL goal. Uh, Gru did not even do much either. It's like it pretty much cancels I uh, cancels out. I'm gonna have the power forward in there instead. Uh, yeah, God sakes, I freaking hate it. Probably gonna have to be Lundestrom. Nope. So there's gonna be that minus one. Yeah, we're going to need a good third line forward. Uh, Noel is not going to be in here. He's not going to be here. He doesn't fit at all, and it's, it's not going to be Mason, Mason Appleton either. But, like, yeah. Uh, North's going to be Heinen because uh, I'm not trading Zub. Right, good. So... First things first, what I'm going to do, uh, how has Rochette done? How has he done? One goal in five games? Uh, that's probably already better. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place you on waivers. Oh, shit. Yeah. So, that's the problem. I, I'm, I'm going to place the goalie on waivers. Uh, Anunen? Oh, he's not waiver eligible. So, Okay. It, it, it's going to be all fine, then. It's, it's going to be all fine. So, 
Vika Pro is fully healed. So that's good here. Here we go. Uh, I think Noel is going to be off the lineup. Uh, he has not worked out. He's, he has five points. Uh, well, Ojan has one in six, but I think that's still better. So I'm going to keep him in here. Uh, Rochette, he's good for the for the third line. He's good for that third line. I'm still gonna try to get somebody in the in, in the deadline for for a third line. I'm I'm still gonna try, but like, I think it's gonna be better. Uh, Max Golod, okay, you can. Uh... And also, it's gonna be a nice storyline here. Decline. I'm. Zub is not even on the block. Why in the world do people want him? Like, come on. <laughs> okay, I guess. Uh, we're a little bit in the losing streak here. Oh, boy. Is it going to be like last year? Okay. So, if it's going to be like last year, at this time, this time around, so now, right before the deadline, so I can make adjustments. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're in a bad streak. Just like last year, that's going to ruin our playoff chances. Okay, we get in a good dub right here. I have no clue why the hell. Why the hell do teams want Zub so badly? Stop requesting. I, I already, like, I already, re I already rejected that trade offer. What the hell? What? Conservative buyer. I'm going conservative, conservative buyer here. And uh, let's see what's, what's up there in the market. Okay, so he's available. Okay. I'm not looking for, I'm looking for, for forward right here. Nikushkin, he has two years left. Let's see if we can find a trade here. Open the block, anything. Daniel Chase, uh, Scott Morrow. What I could do, what I could do, wait a second, I'm going to take off Moro. Taking off Moro. Okay, so. Well, Noel's value is very freaking, very low. He's still young, yeah, but, you know, we need an impact. We need an impact for, for that playoff push. And he's going to be good for that third line. He's going to be very good. So I'm gonna have a bunch of seconds this year. So why not? I, I, I can give up these seconds. Let's see if this goes through. No. So let's just see if we can give up something else. Another third. Let's see. Rejected. Ah. Uh, what in the world? What in the world's happening? A uh, first round pick in 2026. The hell happening here? It, it has more value. It has a lot of value still. Trade accepted. So we stole. I mean, we didn't steal. We we actually gave up value. Noel is on the way out. And then you have you, you have Nikushkin on the way in. Big big trade right here. Big trade. Uh, what I could do, I could also package Gooley into a trade. So. I can put Gooley. I just want to see. Top six forwards a weakness. Top nine forwards a weakness. Top prospect, forward prospects. Okay, we have good forward prospects. Uh, neutral, neutral, neutral. Defensively, goalie. Starting goalie is a weak. You know, I, I, I don't need... You have Dostal. Uh, let me see how he's doing. He has a 932 save percentage. So he's doing well for, for a rookie goaltender. He played 23 games. Uh, Reimer played 32, so it's like fine, I guess. But yeah, man. I'm going to try to package. Package for a D man right here. Hey, wait a sec. I'm going to see the top guys available. Also, I'm not going to try to look for somebody else. Waste my time some, somewhere else. Uh, Radulov. No, I, I'm not looking for. Let me see.
<laughs> oh, holy shit, bro. Okay. So first things first. First things first. I think we could make this work. We definitely can make this work. We can make this shit work very, very freaking well. Uh, Mirura, you're not going anywhere. Lacombe, you're not going anywhere. Uh, Henry Thrun, you're not going anywhere. Oh, shit. So, first things first. What the hell happened to Ghoulie? I want to package Ghoulie here. Okay, Ghoulie. Almost zero value, too. So, like, Sam Steel, you're, you're not going to be off that. Buffalo would have more than 45 skaters. He has some value. Uh, okay, I guess. He's had some value here. 45, 35, 38. You know. He's been doing fine. Yeah. God, man. So, how the hell do I do that? I think his value is way too high, maybe. I mean, of course, you're going to want Zegris. Uh, what's with you? He's a medium top four D-man. Dimitri Yaskin's already 78. No. Uh, Zellrigger, he's he's a 70. He's not going anywhere. Uh, Gulaev, no. I have a lot of good prospects. But which one do we not need? I have a low four right here. Uh, he's, uh, I don't trust him to grow at all. Uh, low potentials do not really work. Oh, I can give you a third in that year from a few years now. I don't have a lot of picks these next few drafts. So I could, I could give you a second right here. No. Oh, holy shit. Uh, I'm giving you another second right here, then. Let's see if this goes through. It does. So we have acquired some death right here. I mean, he's going to be on the second pair. P.K. Subban's going to be on the second pair. But we got some deals done. And I really think we're fine. I honestly think we're fine where we are. What we need is to get our guys back. And we're, we're in business. We made a big trade. We made one big trade. We made a second one. And we didn't even spend a lot of draft picks. We, we, we took that. So what we did, we got guys who, we traded away guys who wouldn't work in the system. Noel was, had five points in like 30 games. So he was not going to, he was not working. It didn't look like he was working on that third line at all. Even with chemistry. So... I'm totally fine with that. Uh, Austin Wagner, how is he? Yeah, uh, I, I'm not. I'm not interested in that. I'm not interested. So let's see. So first off, sim till next day, and we're gonna check the lines here. Uh, Lucas Oyer, San Diego. Yeah, he's he's an AHL injury. Uh, all right. So here we go. Let's see how it goes. So we had so, so we still have that top line. Uh Rochelle is gonna be deaf. You know, I mean he had he had it's been probably been still been better, but you know. So where do you work? Where do you work? In this first line. We can do something like this. Holy shit, bro. I I, I, I don't want to break up that line here, but it looks like I'm going to have to. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not looking for that. So, how is Nick Tavish done? 18 points. He, I have no clue how the hell he doesn't shoot that much, bro. I mean, it just shows how broken it was. It just shows how broken their system was. 
uh, we're going to have to see here. Yeah, uh, I, I don't want to break that. I really don't want to break up that that plus five. And I think it's Zegris that makes it a plus five here. It looks like it's it's pretty much Zegris. It makes it a very, very good top five. Uh, plus five here. So, how's been one? Even minus seven, minus 11. So, Caleb Jones has not been very, very good, it looks like. So, Subban is going to hop in right here. So, all right. Let's see what works right there. Uh, so with Subban, it works a lot. It, it, you know, it's pretty neutral, looks like. So, okay, I guess. So, I guess here it works. So, the PP is going to be fine. Uh, we can maybe... We can cut some from Nik Nikushkin because he's not, like, very offensive. You know, I'm trying to look for offensive firepower, so he's going to be fine right here. Plus five. This power play is going to be booming, bro. This power play is going to be booming. Uh, well, I'm, I'm going to need somebody to give up their 76. Uh, Dossel is not going to be a starter for now. I'm, I'm going to give it to Reimer. I'm going to give it to Reimer, and then, and then in the playoffs, we're going to decide. Okay? But for now, fine. Okay? So, here we go now. Uh, wait a sec. What the hell? I yeah, I wanted to change the number here. Oh, I want to change the numbers here. All right. So, yeah, because Mura, <laughs> you can piss off with that. I'm giving it to my boy. Okay. So, this works here. Uh, so, so it's now or never now. So, this team, the last push, we are third in the Pacific. Uh, we are... I mean, I think we're comfortably for now. We're, we're, for now, for now, the playoff spots have been, you know, the playoff teams are pretty much set. For now, at least. So, hopefully it stays like that. We have some comfortable lead. We have a team. The only team that can catch us are teams in our division. And the, the three teams that we are ahead of. And even that would give us a wild card spot. They go above us. Okay. So we're racking up some wins here. I like it. Beat San Jose back to back. That's good. So so we beat Seattle and San Jose back to back. Oh, Subban gets injured. Oh, of course. Of a freaking course. We trade for him. We get a good trade. We, we pretty much win that trade. And then he just goes down. Caleb Jones has been pretty horrible. He has not been that good. Minus 11. Come on. He has not been very, very good. Buddy Robinson. I mean, he's been injured and re-injured, injured and re-injured, bro. Like, piss off. Piss off with that, man. Like, please. <laughs> Stay healthy. Stop injuring yourself. Stop getting hurt. God's sakes. Oh, boy. So, let's just, uh... Mm, okay. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep these guys on their, uh, on their wings. Uh, I'm not, not, not gonna mix, I'm not gonna mix, mix things up. So, we're two points away from, from first spot. So, so we're pretty fine. Oh, what in the world? Oh, shit. I, I thought there was a glitch again. So. Okay. So we have clinched the playoff spot. So that's good here. Oh, my God. The Central is very, very freaking bad. <laughs> the Central is pretty freaking bad. And I think even Vegas clinched as well. Vegas with, with 90, 91 points have clinched. So it's pretty much. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think teams are set here. Teams are pretty much set. The playoff teams are set. So let's see if we can be Minnesota here. Overtime win. So I think we're good. 
should be a team we beat. Okay, overtime win. It's not bad. So we take the we take the first spot here. Oh, we take a big L to Nashville, and we drop the second by two points here. Edmonton. Come on, we have Calgary, an opponent that that's out of the playoffs. Uh, same for Seattle, three two win. So it looks like the Ducks are back. The Anaheim Ducks are back into shape. Uh, Buddy Robinson it keeps getting injured in the AHL, bro. Like, piss off. So Edmonton kept kept winning. So they're, you know, like there's nothing we can really do about it at this point if they keep winning. But we we win as well. So like, yeah. Uh, Trevor Zegers. He's point per game. That's his career high now. He's reaching career highs every year. And yeah, man, plus 21. So a good year for this team. The first good year right there. Uh, Getzlaff with at 38 years old is still doing this. Come to us. Okay, good. And Akushkin did fine. Uh, Brendan Yeager. Braden Yeager did pretty well. Sam still did pretty well. Bring trade. Braden Tracy did pretty well on the fourth line. He's been our, he's been our four C. More points than I don't know why the hell McTavish is not scoring, bro. What is that? And uh, yeah, have Rochette right here with you know he's been taken out of the lineup. So, you know our 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 bottom six has been struggling. Uh yeah man, Subban with forty three points. Uh. Jamie Drysdale with 68. Lindholm with 39. Maguro with 17. Okay. And then you have all these guys. I mean, Caleb Jones production-wise hasn't been good, but minus 12 as well. Uh, that's what had me concerned. So let's just see who we can roll with in the playoffs. Uh, Dostal played five, five less games. So if he played... You know, he's doing better than James Reimer. James Reimer has not been very, very good. So I think, I think we're rolling with Dostal. I might as well decide here, but Do Dostal has had very, very good numbers. He's looking to be that 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 team starter in already his first year. So that's good right there. James Reimer, has, he was supposed to be our starter for for the time being, and pretty much that. But uh, yeah, man. So let's check into the entire league. Let's see who wins the, the scoring title. Connor McDavid wins it with 111 points. So that's good. Uh, 111 points. You have Austin Matthews with 105. Leon Dressel with 99. 98 for McKinnon. Tavares with 98. Sagan. I mean, yeah, Sagan shoots a shit ton in this in Sim. He shoots a shit ton. So so. Of course, he's going to score 57 goals. No matter what you do, he's, he, he shoots a shit ton. Anyway. Uh, Ilveskin was 50 goal form. <laughs> and he scored his... Uh, he's, yeah, he's, he's beat Gretzky's record right there. In 2024. Beats his record. Uh, Ehlers. Okay. So that... Uh, that Jets line that was going off in the start of the season just cooled off. It, you know, that line cooled off, it looks like. So I guess. Uh, Kaprasov right here. Andre Kasha's going off, bro. Andre freaking Kasha. All right. Uh, I guess that's what you get when playing with, the, with Matthews. All you have to do is just finish, I guess. Uh, John Carlson, 97 points. Uh, Matar, Hedman, Tori Krug, Eric Carlson. So Drysdale, was, he was top 10 in points here. So we can't really go... If you go by save percentage... I mean, Dosto leads all rookie goalies. I think he could he could win the Calder, but he has not played fifty games, so it's like, you know, I played 
uh, Frederick Anderson. Yeah, I have all these guys here. What the hell, man? Wait a sec. Yeah, okay. Uh, I don't know how the hell they just have this these glitches again. But I think Dosco could win Vesna here. Uh, Matthew Savoy might. Yeah, he's gonna win that. Meshkov had a bro. He does not pass. What in the world? He does not pass the puck. What is that? What in the world, bro? He has only eight assists, which completely, completely costing him his numbers right here. Brennan Jaeger was was fifth in, in scoring amongst rookies, so that's good. Uh, finally had this guy, Kirill Marchenko, and I think it has to, it has to be Dostal, right? Yeah, it's, look at Dostal has been the best rookie goalie. Uh, and he might even win the Calder. I think with these numbers, he's he's nearly a 940. That is nearly 940. But yeah, man, let's find out. Before we wrap it up, let's find out who we play in the playoffs for our first playoffs in this series. The San Jose Sharks. Alrighty. So, we're going to check their team. Let's start the next one. And, uh... Yeah, man. I hope you enjoyed subscribing to me, playing like and comment down all your thoughts. And uh, yeah, guys, see you guys in the next one. Next video is going to be playoffs round one.